Hey people, it's uh, me again here at the Restoration Urge, working on my 28 Seagrave right behind me, and I just wanted to give you a couple of couple of updates. I'm going to do some some simple gaskets uh, for that starter, and I thought I'd show you kind of the problems I've been having with this motor and how bad it can really be when you buy a project and, and you're not, especially at an auction where you can't really look it over thoroughly. So let me show you. Um, Here's a lifter assembly for these big motors. Roller on the cam, which is pretty cool. It goes up in this groove, right? And, and exercise the top. So this one I've trimmed down on the lathe. It's, it's almost ready to go um, and the body's in fair condition. I think this little cap here is probably should be nickel plated, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not. Let me show you what I, what I started with. You see that? That's the bottom, bottom end of the lifters. And there were a bunch that had been blown off. So what I think happened is um, at the auction, you know, the, a vehicle's always worth more than they can get it running. So I think they decided they were gonna try to get this rig started. And they forced the motor over and a bunch of the uh, valves were seized. Um, and these might've even been seized or the roller got crooked. See if it's not adjusted right and it's hanging too low, there's nowhere for it to go. So it just obliterated um, not, not just the brass but the whole steel uh, kind of underpin there. So, and what I just realized is I can't drop the jugs on or even this first jug like I'd planned to until I put the lifters in and I'm not just not quite ready for that. I need um, to dress this one up a little bit more. I need at least the two to, to start. Um, so I probably should just start uh, redoing all the lifters and make sure I have enough pieces. The good news is with posting on YouTube like this, I've uh, had some people contact me and I'm super grateful for this, uh, people offering parts. And uh, an opportunity to look through their inventory and see some things that I'm missing. So probably a couple lifter pieces. Um, what else am I missing? I know for sure I'm missing the, the caps for the tailboard. Um, those were those were totally gone. What else am I missing? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm missing the priming cups on all the jugs. This one actually didn't have them. They were all blocked off. Uh, maybe that was an earlier motor thing, but I think having those little brass little uh, petcocks is kind of cool on the motor. So I, I don't have any of those. I don't know if anyone does, but uh, Anyway, that's kind of where I am. Kind of short today. The weather outside is getting getting gloomy, and I I really don't have power in my garage, so these are just like extension cord lines, and I don't have power yet. So I'm doing all this kind of just in in my shed here. I like all our shed. It's, it's a little bigger in the shed, but anyway, thanks a lot. Don't forget that uh, restoration's amazing. No matter what your project is, tractors, cars, boats. It's all amazing, especially the old stuff. Please try to save them. And if you, you have a fire engine, please don't cut it up into a speedster. Um, you're ruining the history of the United States by doing that. You really, really are. And the parts that you're taking so that you can have your chitty chitty bang bang adventure uh, means that it's one less truck that can't get parts, uh, one less fire engine on the road, one less community's fire history. So that's my two cents. I probably the minority there but anyway let's get out there do some fun things with our cars and uh, fix lifters and put jugs on on motors so uh, see you again soon I'll, I'll put the next little segment on here with gaskets and putting on part of the starter cover and uh, hopefully we can do some more with the lifters here soon thanks for watching hey guys back to the restoration urge uh, just gonna take a minute to make a quick gasket and I just thought I'd show you one of my tricks I like to do. Um, I need to make another gasket for for um, this piece of the starter and but this gear is sitting out so it's hard to get a, a true outline and I could put some paint over top of it and kind of shadow it but I like to put it on the on the paper where I know it's gonna fit the outside and then I push down a little bit where the the hub is there that gives me kind of a center, and then I've measured that gear. 
and out to from the center of the gear to this little uh, this little bezel and so I know it's about three and a quarter inches then if you have a set of calipers if you don't even a cheap one uh, and this is a cheap one uh, it's something really really handy so flip it on running up to three and a quarter roughly then I can take the middle of that and make a scroll see that but it kind of cuts it and that's really what it's designed to do um, just kind of make a little thing so now I've got a perfect circle that should fit on this inner part I'm going to cut that out put the plate back on then you can mark it a little more accurately just give me a second I'll cut that out all right so I got this center hole cut I actually had to do it twice because I didn't measure accurately I'm talking about being accurate and then I didn't didn't do it so uh, I was off by Anyway, I was off. So we'll try it again. Pretty close this time. I'll wrap the paper around that little bezel, twist it till kind of towards everything. And then this would be a, a good time to, to mark it if you wanted to do that, but I also like to just take uh, my hammer. hard metals like steel that works really well you got to be a little careful with softer things that you as you're tapping you're not rounding over that that edge that's never never good and I also think this is really a great way if you have a ball peen the ball for where the holes are or the bolts it, it gets them almost exactly so if you can see that right there above my hand there and uh, this one's a little bit greasy, so it's kind of marking itself. And we'll just work our way around. where that inside edge is. There you go. <laughs> My guide to making a little bit more accurate gasket. Um, now I've got a nice line. It's semi-punctured from when the strikes were happening. It's easier to locate the bolt holes and I still have to do a few more. But uh, there you go. Gas gets faster.
Come on. Yeah, we're on track. Nobody wants to go together. He's <laughs> even filming. You know the way it's supposed to go? You can make a fool of yourself. And I do that plenty without broadcasting it to the world. But, uh, there's one more on the bottom there. I'll have to get wrenched. But uh, tighten that up. There we go. Starter assembly.